Hey, it's Ashley from Westcott, and in this video, I'm gonna break down a portrait setup where I use a single light and an eye lighter to create some really beautiful portrait lighting. So if you're new to our channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on bell notifications. That way you can be the first to know when we post new videos. The eye lighter is a great tool to get beautiful and effortless clamshell lighting while still only using a single light source. Not only does it fill in all the shadows under your subject's chin and nose, but it also creates a stunning highlight in your subject's eyes. This helps draw the viewer's attention to the eyes of the subject and give them a little bit of sparkle. With the eye lighter 3, you have three different fabric choices for how you want to use the eye lighter. And I want to go over what each fabric does and what various situations you use them in. This way you can understand the benefits of each fabric. So before I go over what each fabric does, I first want to go over the setup and the gear used for the shoot. For this shoot, I was going for a very warm toned portrait. My model was wearing an orange colored dress and had a lot of warm tones in her makeup. So I decided to pair this styling with Westcott's Extra Pro 8x8 Warm Pain Leaf Fabric Backdrop. The orange tones of the dress help complement the background and really pull together all those warm tones of the photo. For lighting, I was aiming for a soft beauty lighting with minimum shadows. To achieve this, I used a single FJ400 strobe and modified it using a 53 inch deep umbrella with the white interior. I added a diffusion cover to the outside of the umbrella to help soften the light even more. After years of shooting with an eye lighter, I find that using a large modifier can be key when using an eye lighter. The larger the light source, the more evenly the eye lighter will be filled. But this doesn't mean you need to use something as large as 53 inches. I find that as long as your modifier is between 36 inches and 53 inches, it will evenly fill the eye lighter more evenly without being too cumbersome. I place my FJ400 and the deep umbrella on a broom arm. This allows me to place the light in front of my subject without getting the light stand pull in the way. I raise the light above my subject and angle it down in the butterfly position. With this in place, I then brought in my eye lighter. When placing your light and the eye lighter together, it's important to angle your light enough to illuminate both the eye lighter and your subject. A trick to find the right angle is to turn your model lamp on and adjust the angle of the eye lighter until you see the reflection in your subject's eyes. You can also stand or sit where your subject will be and adjust the eye lighter until you see the reflection from your main light. So now that I have explained the lighting for the shoot, let's go over the difference between the three fabrics that are included with the Eyelighter 3. Silver is the most popular eyeliner fabric due to the very distinct look it gives. The silver fabric creates a very specular light and is gonna fill in almost all the shadows under the chin and nose. A lot of people will choose to use the silver material because it produces a very defined highlight in your subject's eye. If you're new to using the eyeliner, I recommend setting up with the silver first. Due to the specular highlights of the silver fabric, it makes setting up the eyeliner a lot easier since you can see when your light is placed correctly. Even if you're not planning on using the silver fabric, you can then quickly and easily add your desired fabric to the eyeliner once it's in the correct position. Another great option for the eyeliner fabric is the white fabric surface. The white is going to produce a soft, more natural fill. This will allow you to still retain some of the shadows on your subject's chin and nose and help add dimension to your subject's face. When working with the white fabric, you'll notice that the highlight in the eye will be less dramatic and more natural looking. This is great if you're looking for a more subtle look while still brightening up the shadows and highlighting the eye. Finally, there is sunlight, which is actually a mix of both gold and silver material. When using the Sunlight Eye Lighter fabric, you can get similar light quality as when using a silver, meaning specular highlights and filled in shadows. But it will result in slightly warmer tones. This is helpful if you're looking to warm up someone's skin tones and give them a warmer, glowy look. Another benefit to the Sunlight fabric is that since it's a warmer light, the highlight in the subject's eyes will also have a warm look to it. This is great for brown and green eyes and so it'll complement the eye color. As you can see, the eye lighter is a perfect tool for beauty portraits, but it's also great for anything from headshots to small groups. And with the easily interchangeable fabrics, it can provide you with a variety of different looks. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.